welcome back here to the Pilgrim's Well. I'd love to welcome you to our first ever episode on a new series on the Pilgrim's Journey. This is the time where I will read through the Pilgrim's Progress and uh, talk about it and see what's going on. So let's begin. This first ever episode is called A Book and a Burden. This is how the book starts. I dreamed, and behold, I saw a man clothed in rags, standing in a certain place, with his face turned away from his own house, a book in his hand, and a great burden on his back. I looked and saw him open the book and read therein. And as he read, he wept and trembled, and not being able to maintain himself any longer, he broke out with a lamentable cry, saying, What shall I do? Now the man after this, he goes home in his worry and his, in his distress and he can't contain himself any longer. And then he says this, I am certainly informed that this, our city, will be burned with fire from heaven in which fearful oath overthrow both myself with you, my wife and sweet babes, that's the children, shall come to a miserable ruin except some way of escape be found whereby we may be delivered. Now, of course, his family is shocked that their father and their husband is suddenly in such worry and distress. And so in this, in their worry and care, they talk to him and they try to calm him down and to make him relax. And finally, he, he, they bring him to bed and he says, well, maybe once he goes to bed, he'll feel a lot better in the morning. And so they come to him in the morning and they say, are you feeling any better? And the only thing he says is worse and worse. And so at this point, the family begins to resist him, begins to say, okay, this is enough. We can't handle this anymore. And the man locks himself up in his room and tries to deal with this burden, but he can't shake it. Finally, he goes out into the field. And in this field, he meets a certain man named Evangelist. This is what the man Evangelist said. For what reason are you crying? He answered, sir, I understand by the book in my hand that I am condemned to die. And after that, to come to judgment. And I find that I am not willing to do the first, nor able to do the second. Then said Evangelist, why are you not willing to die since this life is accompanied with so many evils? In other words, this life is full of trouble. The man answered, because I fear that this burden that is upon my back will sink me lower than the grave. And I fall into Topheth, which is the place of burning. And he's describing the eternal judgment here. And sir, if I am not fit to go to prison, I am quite sure I'm not fit to go to judgment. And as a consequence to execution, and the thoughts of these make me cry. What John Bunyan is describing here is not just an external burden of this man. He sees the city that he's living in is, is a picture of his understanding of the world and the judgment that is coming. So in other words, this is a man that has heard the Bible, this, this message that he is a sinner. And uh, he's going and is on his way to the judgment and he's very worried. And if he goes to other people around him, they don't understand him. But this burden that is in his heart, in his conscience, becomes unshakable. He's convinced that he's on his way to judgment. And so before we go on, I want to pause here and, and note a few things. First of all, the man discovers the truth about himself. He's described as a man clothed in rags and a great burden on his back. The burden didn't come there by the message. The rags didn't become old through the message. He'd always have that burden on his back and he always wore old rags. But through the Bible, the light was shined upon him so that he could see what he looked like. And that's really what the Bible does. That's what John Bunyan is teaching here. The Bible shows us not something that we are not, but it really shows us the truth to what we are. And so Christians are people or people that have come under condemnation or under judgment that feel worried some about their sin. It's not that they suddenly become sinful. It's just that the Bible shows the light. And of course, it has a purpose with showing that light that it's, it's revealing who they truly are. Secondly, the man discovers the coming judgment. So he doesn't only see what, what he is wearing, what he is, but he also sees what is coming. That's an incredible grace, isn't it? that God shows the future judgment, that we don't have to wait till we're finally there. Uh, if you think about uh, school, my, my worry was not always the test, but it was really getting the score back. Maybe you have experienced that in your own life, that when you're in the classroom and the grades come out and you got one by one and you got to go to the front and you're trying to figure out if the grades go up or down or whatever it is, right? You're, you're anxious of what is the judgment of your teacher, so to speak. Well, what the Bible does and tells us 
beforehand, it says the judgment is coming so that we can still turn away. Thirdly, the man cannot help himself, right? This is depicted by him going into his room, going to, to his family. He, he needs salvation, but whatever he does, he cannot find it in his own strength. He cannot go and buy new clothes or get the burden off his back. He needs help for someone, from someone else. And so what, the, what John Bunyan is describing to us here is a brilliant display of uh, Jesus' words of John 16, verses 8 to 11. It says this, and when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin, right? The, the, the rags concerning righteousness, that's the righteousness of God, and judgment, that is the, the day that is coming. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. That's what John Bunyan says, right? This city, not just me, but this city is going to be destroyed. We are already judged by God. And so um, as we start off our journey, we begin with this man in rags, having a burden on his back and a book in his hands. And as we will see, this journey will lead him through the book away from the burden. But we will look at that in the coming uh, few series. Thank you very much. See you next time.